Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be finishing this folio that we had done together that we had started. So we're going to work on doing all the paper matting today. We're going to do the beautiful kind of borders and whatnot. So I'm going to do all of that with you guys on camera. Now, if you do not have a die cutting machine, you could always make a template of some kind of a border for yourself and use that and you would just trace um, and whatnot. I'm gonna be using this die. I have it, I love it. That's what I'm gonna use. Um, I'm also gonna try and use up some scrap Christmas paper that I have in my stash. So I have this one full sheet and then some smaller bits and pieces. So I'm gonna try to use up as much as I can um, from this inside um, this folio today. So that's what I decided I would do for my paper. And yeah, so we are gonna get started, I think by first, let's figure out my paper for the outside cover. Actually, I don't think I need this board here anymore. If you guys have not yet seen the video, definitely check out the tutorial video um, so you guys could see uh, how to make it but I need to figure out my cover. So my cover needs to be like this wide. Oh, actually, I'm gonna try to figure out my pockets while I'm at it too. Let's see. I don't even know if I have any cut aparts. Will this fit? Oh, that's too big. We might have to find some cut aparts from my stash. All right, I'm going to try to use the scraps without using that bigger piece first. So let's see what I got here. And I'm also going to try to figure out what I'm going to be using for um, these pockets. This might work for the pockets. That This will work for the pockets if I decide to use that. But I was kind of thinking I want one of these for the pockets. And then maybe a stripe. So I might do that for the pocket. We'll see. And the front cover, or I could do this as the front cover. This also might work for the pocket. Oh, maybe we'll do, hmm. I could do this for the pocket and this, and then we could do this as the front cover. But where was that cut apart? I had a cut apart, I thought, over here. So if this is the cut apart. I could do something like this, I think on the cover, and do a strip and then gold. Or we could just do this bottom sentiment here that just says it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. All right, so I'm gonna put those, I guess, aside for now. What I do want though for my pockets, I do want a gold outline. So I'm gonna get some gold foil paper also. And right now I'm just gonna figure out what size this would need to be for my pocket. And we are gonna cut some off, so it's not gonna be a big deal if the height is not there. The width does need to be there though. Um, so the pockets are gonna be about three and five eighths by five and a half, I think. Okay, so let me cut this down. I guess we're gonna do the pockets first and not the cover. So three and a five eighths. I'm gonna do one shorter, I think, than three and five eighths by five and a half. Oh, let me do five and a half first. And then one shorter than three and five eighths. So it's like in between three and five eighths and three and a half. All right, 
will this fit? Okay, a little shorter than I would have liked, but that's okay because we're gonna be cutting into this anyway. So then my patterned paper Okay, you know what? Let's just go with this first. <laughs> I think I, I think I'm doing this right. I don't even remember. Okay, I'm gonna grab my Tim Holtz ruler, trying to figure out where um, the center is for this. Let me just paper clip this for a second here. So then, this. Okay, that's the center. So I'm gonna line up this point to be where that center mark is. All right, so that's where I'm gonna cut my die. So I already had a piece of tape on here. This is how we are gonna cut it and run this through my die cutting machine. All right, I'm gonna be using my larger Sizzix because I'm gonna be needing to do that anyway um, in a little bit. So this is magnetic here and I'm actually wondering if I should just do the pattern paper while I'm at it. We could definitely do the pattern paper. So this was five and a half. I'm gonna cut this next piece down to uh, I'm gonna cut him down to five and three eighths. Okay, I did one less than five and... Guys, I messed up my cut. <laughs> I didn't cut that right, so now this doesn't fit. I'm gonna have to find another paper. Oh my gosh, guys, I found another scrap. Hold on, I'm trying to situate you guys here. I found another scrap. We're gonna cut this the right way now. So... Again, this measures, yeah, we need to cut this down five and three-eighths. I don't know what I cut this at. So one less than five and three-eighths is what I am doing here. All right, I'm going to put this back here so that this is in the center because I got to take off um, this piece again, my die, so I can line up this paper. I think we're going to have to cut off the height just a little bit so that it lines up better. And I'm going to try really hard to get this to cut through my three sheets, but we'll see how that works. So I'm going to remove all my paper clips. This is like stuck down to that. And I think... Actually, I think I'm still supposed to put this on here first. I haven't done this clearly in a while. I haven't used my die cutting machine in a while, guys. It's been a minute. So I don't think this is going to stick as good anymore. But we'll go with that. And sandwich this together. And try to run this through. So I'm going to turn it on. this cut through all of my pieces all right I think it did a pretty good job it didn't cut through the last piece but it has the mark so I could go ahead and cut the rest out okay so we're back here with my mess of a desk now and actually I'm gonna I'm seeing that I need to cut this piece a little shorter which is fine, but let's die cut this out. You see how it still has the mark there? I could have run this again um, through my die cutting machine, but 
I'm completely fine with cutting this out now that I have like the marks there. looking good so now this piece should attach right here and that's perfect and then this piece will attach here I do need to cut him a little bit shorter in height but look how beautiful that looks okay so I'm gonna just eh, we're gonna eyeball it we're going to cut off just a sliver at a time and see if it fits. Look at that, guys. Okay, so this would be my first pocket that goes right down here. Beautiful. All right, we are going to do our second pocket now. And my second pocket, what did I want? Did I want this green? I can't remember. Or do I want this red? I feel like if I do the green, then I could do red um, cut up parts. No, maybe I should do this green. Yeah. And then we could do red um, inserts. So I kind of like this red. I can't. I got to do this one. I like this one. So we already have this one cut. We're going to cut this one down to, was it, 5 and 3 eighths? A little bit less than 5 and 3 eighths. I don't care about the height so much right now. But we're going to line this up at the top. And then this one also, what I mainly care about is the width of this. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing and die cut this out. So let me just paper clip this other side, just temporarily. Find out where the center is, which will be the same as the last one. Right here. This is probably my first time using the Tim Holtz ruler. I recently saw Tiffany post her favorite um, products of 2023. And I've had this Tim Holtz ruler. I never noticed it had a zero down here. So I didn't know that you could use that to find the center. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this through my die cutting machine and then die cut this out. All right, so we got this one. Okay, the gold cut out this pattern paper cut out and again we just have to do the other piece this definitely beats having to trace it so if you guys have a die cutting machine and you have um, this die or a border die of some sort, I highly recommend. Because last time, like I said, I did a bunch of tracing and that was just a lot harder to do. Okay, so we got that. Got this piece. I'm just fixing my fussy cutting there because there was like a point there. And then we have this piece and I like the stitching kind of fall look all right and I'm looking at where I kind of need to cut it and then I'll double check to see if I need to cut off any more which I do
All right, I'm gonna cut off another little smidge. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these glued down and then we're also gonna do the cover. And I mean, we're gonna do all of this really. Okay, so I got my glue. I'm very happy with this is how this is turning out. You know what, I actually gotta make sure that I have enough space between the two of them to still have like an insert. And I think I'm gonna put this one on the bottom. I think that one's a little bit bigger, which is okay. Yeah, it is a little bit bigger. And that's totally fine. Like, you could go ahead and redo this if you'd like and line this up again, which maybe we'll do. So I'm lining up the points and then you can do this one more time. I mean, this one I really don't need to line it up because we already have it lined up for the most part. All right, so I'm gonna die cut off just a little bit more. All right, so this die cut it all out again. This one might be shorter now than the other one. Oh, they're like the same now. Okay, that worked out great. So I think I'm gonna cut off the bottom here just a smidge because that one seems to have like a bigger outline. So just a smidge. And again, I do need to uh, cut this piece out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down. I even glued down that last one. Oh, I'm gonna erase a little bit of this pencil mark here. Okay, and then I'm gonna glue down this one. All right, so now we can figure out where these are gonna go here and which one's shorter now, or are they both the same? Oh, okay, now they're the same. All right, so I did want this one on top, so we're gonna put that one here, and then this one down here, this one's gonna go a little higher up here. You want like the same amount of space kind of in between the both of them and then obviously you're gonna add in like a strip underneath there behind that but for now this is what we're gonna do and I think I kind of want like that wood grain pattern that we had on the back of this paper to be that strip but you're gonna line this up remember you do not want to go over that score line and you want to line it up at the bottom so this one's going to get lined up at the bottom. The other one is not. Okay. And then this one. It's going to go like right here. You guys know I'm going to add my tape. And it just helps whatever inserts you put in to go in better. And 
And let me see if this is long enough. Ooh, okay. Mm-hmm. So this, where's my other ruler? We're gonna need this to measure uh, five and a half. So we're gonna cut this five and a half. And I'm gonna kind of eyeball where the center is, ish. How how thick is this? Let's see. This is about three and a half, so about one and three quarters. Okay. So we're gonna cut that down, and now we're gonna glue this down, and then these will be able to fit right behind inside, like that pocket under the flaps. It'll be easier once I glue it down but it's gonna go like right here. And it's just gonna add a little bit there and same thing with this one. Okay, so that's how that's gonna look. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these sides glued down. Okay, you want this to go inside the pocket. Beautiful. All right, so get that stuck down. All right, we got half of the hardest part done, which was these beautiful like angled kind of pockets. And now we still have the cover that we gotta do. I mean, obviously we gotta decorate and stuff, but I wanna get the cover done because it's gonna bother me. Okay, so. No, you know what? We'll come back to the cover. Um, I want to get this part done, and I don't remember what cut aparts I had, if I had any cut aparts. Okay, I don't have any cut aparts um, from this collection, so I just have this bag of other cut aparts. So let's see what I have in here that I might be able to use. All right. Um, I feel like this is a little too white. These are little. These are not going to work. Like, I don't, uh, the white doesn't really go with this. So, I'm going to put these back and find something else. All right, I have some cut aparts from the Christmas Salutations Pack by Cartabella. And there's some black in here, which I think might work a little bit better. I think 
like this merry and bright one. Season of Joy has white on the back, so maybe not that one. And then I have these. So we could do warm and cozy. This Christmas. But I think I like the merry and bright. And I think we could cut that down. I mean, the very bright has some white in it, but I think in that case, it's fine. Or you know what, guys? I could see what ephemera I have. So let me just check that out real quick. All right, let's see what ephemera I have. This does have like a white background, but... Like the, they're not sharp like white. Oh, I kind of like that one, the Oh Christmas Tree. Or we could do Merry Christmas. I think I'm going to do the Merry Christmas, actually. Okay, so what we're going to do with that, let me put these ephemera pieces away. All right, so we're gonna glue this down onto some black scrap cardstock. Actually, no, we're gonna glue this down onto some gold. All this fussy cutting I have to do in this project that I hate doing, guys. <laughs> so I'm going to fussy cut around this. Okay, guys, how long did that take me to cut? Five minutes. Um, but I fussy cut around this, and this is going to go right here, and this is also going to get attached to my belly band. And I'm kind of thinking I need to put another pattern paper behind this. So for that, let me see what, like, small scraps I have. Um... We could do the green. Oh, the, actually, the green might look nice here. I haven't decided that part yet. I mean, we could do the wood. Or the floral. Because this is going to flip down, and then you're going to see it, so... Um, Hmm. Okay, well, first of all, what paper is going to go behind this? Because we still need some kind of paper to go behind that. So, let's see. That kind of looks nice. Or we could do the green. Nope. I don't like that. Whatever I decide to do, I need it to look good. Oh, maybe we could do this and then... And down the, down this, we could do maybe all of this. Maybe. All right, I think I'm going to do that. So this piece needs to be four and three eighths by three and seven eighths. So four and three eighths by three and seven eighths. Hopefully I did that cutting right this time. Okay, looks good. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna go there. 
This will be our belly band, like this. Okay, and then I think the back will do this piece. So when it flips down, it'll look like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut around this guy now. I wish I would have done two at a time before, but I didn't. Oh my God, guys. I have like the beginning of um, carpal tunnel and I really should be doing hand exercises, but like fussy cutting this is killing my hand. Like, oh my gosh, I really need to learn how to um, use my brother's scanning cut better so that it could fussy cut these things for me and like use it quickly and efficiently because uh, I'm not going to want to use it if it's not, you know, quick, but I also don't have it plugged in. So either way, it's not quick. Oh my God, my hand is killing me. Oh my God. This is why I don't fussy cut. Okay. Well guys, hopefully that's good be because I don't want to, um, do that again. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this piece down. And if you want nice edges on your waterfall, you could go ahead and do this before you glue down paper, or you could do it before you even glue down your waterfall. I am not doing that. I'm not doing a fancy edge. Okay, so that's gonna go there. This piece, we need some kind of uh, paper design on here. So let's see what we have. That's not long enough. I'm trying to think. We're gonna have like the red, I think, background going down here. I'm kinda thinking, oh, we also have this. We could cut one of these off. Oh, I guess we could do maybe just the red. I don't know, maybe I'm kind of thinking not red here if this is gonna be red. Cause there's a lot of red happening. So maybe we'll do green. So let's do red here. And I think this needs to be one and one eighth. By five and seven eighths. So one and one eighth by five and seven eighths. And I'm gonna do the same design on both sides. So I'm gonna cut that off. So one and one eighth. Or maybe I could do the plaid side on the other one. We'll see. By five and seven eighths. So I think that I definitely want the red on this side. Uh, where do I want my magnet? The magnet is going to go... <gasps> no! I glued this down and I didn't put my magnet! Oh my gosh. Alright, we're going to have to take that off. <laughs> oh boy. But I'm going to glue down... this piece well you guys are going to get to see the undo in action I don't use it often and I know Tiffany has it but she's like scared to use it because it makes the whole paper wet but <laughs> that's really stuck down so I'm trying to think I would need to add the magnet onto the back of this Actually, we could glue this down right now. 
so fuck. this would go right here I was gonna do a black outline around that too but my hands killing me so we're not and then this is gonna go like this other piece that I cut out is gonna cover up this after we put the magnet down so we're not gonna do that one just yet but we did get that stuck down Okay, I gotta get my undo so we could get that paper off. Well, you guys are gonna get to see this in action. So I'm just gonna grab some scrap paper cause I don't want the rest of my paper wet. So just some scrap paper under here. And this is the undo that I use. I think there's one that has a different color here um, that doesn't work as good. And I had it before, but this is the one that works good. And I don't think you could get this in California actually because of some kind of ingredient in here. But I'm gonna put this on the whole paper and I'm just kind of soaking it. All right. So I didn't go all the way to the top, but it's gonna kind of go there anyway. And I'm using something flatter here. So this is just like some kind of spatula from Cricut. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit so you guys could see. And then I'm gonna start going in the corner and or try to get some kind of angle where I could lift this up. The hardest part is finding like where this goes. And you usually have to work fast. I don't know why I'm being so slow at this. So I'm just putting this metal thing underneath here. Trying to get the glue to separate from the paper. Taking off a little bit too much of the black. You know, if worse comes to worse, we're just gonna take off this whole top and just redo it again. All right, so I don't need to go any much further, but that is good. And then we're gonna stick it down back again afterwards. So we did ruin this whole piece underneath. Hmm, I'm wondering if I should just take off the whole thing and just make another one. I think maybe we'll do that. So I'm putting glue onto where I attached my waterfall. Cause I kind of ruined, if you guys could see the whole paper underneath that. So I don't wanna. We were able to get that off. That 
that worked out pretty good. Um, so I'm going to save this piece though. Okay, so we could still use this and we'll just trim around the edge here. Okay, so I'm going to cut another piece that just measures four and a half by four and a half. All right, guys, I have the other piece here. So, oh my God, I can't find anything on my desk right now. It's a mess. Um, okay. So I'm going to glue this piece back down. It's just a new piece that I needed to grab. And it's just going to go right at the top, just like how we had it before. So now let's not forget the magnet. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot that guys. Don't forget your magnet. I mean, there's always a way to fix it and go around it. I mean, I could have added an embellishment on top or whatever, or I could have just done a ribbon tie closure instead and took this off. Like there's still other options, but I was set on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a magnet down onto this piece and it's just gonna go like right in the center okay so now we could glue down this piece again Okay, so go ahead and glue that down after you have your magnet. <laughs> oh my gosh, I still can't believe I did that. Okay, and then this bottom piece here, I'm gonna glue down this wood grain now that my magnet is attached. Just trying to figure out which way it goes that way. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. Nope, don't wanna glue that down yet. I think I'm supposed to do this. And I think I'm gonna go with the red again. And I think I made that too long. Okay, so that's gonna go there. And now this piece. Okay, so that goes like that. And looking good. All right, now I gotta figure out still what's gonna go here. So yeah, I don't know how this is gonna go yet. I do have this plaid. I don't really know what to put. Okay, well, I think we said we're gonna do the this here and I'm only going to be doing the half an inch so that the recipient could put photos 
top and bottom. So let's see, I, I need one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and that one, I forgot, that one is a pocket. All right, I mean, I guess we have enough. We have a bunch of these. Okay, so let's see. Uh, again, this needs to be four and three eighths. So I'm gonna be doing four and three eighths by half an inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, well, that seventh one we didn't need. Um, so we could either do the pocket something different or we could do it the same, however you would like to do it. But I have these all laid out in the order that I cut them so it's a continuous pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue them in that order. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, so that is um, our waterfall. And then uh, I would need something down here. And I could either do the same thing, but I think I'm gonna go for something different down there. And I'm kind of wondering if I should just do more of this. Or we could do something else. We could do, oh, we could do like this piece down there. Kind of just to break it up a little bit. Or I could just do the same thing. I mean, I could always glue down this last piece at the bottom. So it looks continuous, even though that's a pocket. I think actually we're gonna do that. Um, so it looks continuous, and then we'll fill in the rest with um, some other scraps I have. I think that looks good like that. And then we could do this wood grain. We could do this pattern. I'm trying to think what I want. Okay, I think we're gonna do this pattern. So how much do I have left here? 
So I keep moving you guys. You guys are on a charger right now because my phone was dying. And I keep moving the charger. Okay, so this needs to be about three quarters of an inch. And I think that was by four and three eighths, right? So three quarters of an inch, four and... Nope, I just cut three and three eighths. Why do I keep doing that today? Well, that is no longer useful. Maybe we'll do this. I don't know. Do we have another piece? Oh, we're saved. All right, so three quarters of an inch. And that was the <laughs> exact um, length, but I could have went a little bit more than three quarters and I have scraps, so I'm just gonna cut another piece. Measure once, right? Or measure twice, cut once, they say. Should probably start doing that, but I don't. I mean, normally I'm much better at, at this than this video. I don't normally have to cut a million times. I don't know what's going on today though. Okay, so we just paper pieced that. I do need something here, and I think I'm going to do this one the full length. So we're looking probably around three and three eighths by four and three eighths, and I think I wanted this. So three and three eighths by four and three eighths. And this we just need to tuck in to this pocket a little bit. And I don't know if I want that side anymore. I think I actually want this side. I thought I wanted the other side, but I don't. Okay, I do think I want um, the same red up here. I mean, I have more of this, so we might as well do that and make it look uniform. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. So I'm gonna start cutting these. Let me go this way. Um, and these are by four and three eighths. So I'm gonna cut these a little less than half an inch. So I'm able to get two from these strips that I just cut. And this is not like a continuous pattern, so, I mean, it is, but it's not. Like, you can't tell. So I'm just going to cut all of these at four and three eighths. And we're going to glue all of these down. Might even in view. Okay, so now that's all finished off there. That looks good. And now we are done 
with that. So down the center here, we need something and I'm, that's too busy, but I think I'm gonna put this one here and then this is gonna get a different uh, pattern, but I think this one will go here like to finish off that pocket. So this needs to be seven and a half tall. Okay, so just another scrap that I had and we're gonna use it. So this one will go underneath this pocket here which is under the waterfall. And that will finish that piece off right there. And mine does go in a little, so I'm just gonna put my bone folder in a little bit and make sure that's burnished. Okay, so my little booklet, I think I want this to have some green on it so that when this goes in, you could see some green. So I'm kind of thinking maybe this pattern, and I think I also want this in the center down here. Or we could do the center being this pattern. Okay, we'll see. Um, so this booklet needs to be five and one eighth by seven and one eighth. So I'm gonna cut a piece that measures five and one eighth by seven and one eighth. So we got five and one eighth. Seven and one eighth. Okay, so that's gonna go there. Um, and I don't know if I wanna do a white mat, which I kind of don't, um, but I kinda do at the same time. I just, I don't know, the white is so white. So I'm wondering if we should do like a red. I don't know guys, I think we might have to do the white because I don't really have any colors that match. But, I mean, I think a white on the inside of a booklet is okay. So we're going to cut this down to 5 and 1 eighth by 7 and 1 eighth. Oh, now you guys can't even see what I'm doing. So 5 and 1 eighth. And 7 and 1 eighth. I do want to put like a nice kind of scalloped edge on this. So I'm going to scallop edge this piece and that piece, this piece and this piece, and then this and this. Okay, I will link that punch um, down below. It's one of my favorites, guys. I use it all the time. So let's stick this down. And if you only have scraps to mat this and like you don't have a big enough piece, that's okay too. You could uh, paper piece on this, like you could have added um, just a gold strip or a gold strip on the inside, wherever you want. Um, and then paper piece like another piece if you didn't have the full on length. Or you could have, if you had like the um, the width and you didn't have the length, then you could have done like a strip down the middle. So I mean, there's ways around it. And now where'd I put my bone folder again? Why do I keep losing things? And now I'm just gonna 
I think I'm just gonna glue it on the inside. Okay, so now that's my little booklet and this is gonna live right inside this pocket there. Okay, now we're gonna need the strip down the middle. I think I'm gonna use that same uh, paper and this needs to be like three quarters, a little less. So we're gonna go with five eighths by seven and a half. So five eighths now I feel like that looks too small but by seven and a half oh no that fits perfect all right so that's gonna go down the center Um, we did have these photo mats still that are supposed to go into these pockets. So that's just kind of like what they're going to look like here. And if you want to make these little booklets, you could definitely do that as well. And actually, we could have probably made them a little bit bigger because these... See how they kind of get hidden? You can make them a little bit bigger if you want. I already have these cut, so I'm going to use these. So these are three and five eighths by five and a quarter. So your paper mat size is gonna be five and one eighth by three and a half. So for one of them, let's see what I have. What scraps? Uh, I don't really wanna use that one again. If I'll use this one for one of them. Is this five and one eighth? One, two, three, four, five. I think that just might work by three and a half. Did I say three and a half? Is this cut wrong? Oh, these are not three and five eighths. I did cut them wrong. <laughs> I mean, I could use them, but I'm not gonna. I have more. I have scrappies. So this is three and five eighths by five and a quarter. So this is three and a half. Yeah, see, I just cut them wrong before. I, I cut mine at three and three eighths before. So this is supposed to be five and a quarter. There we go. We got two new mats. And like I said, you could use them. So I think I'm gonna use this side for down here. Yeah. And if you run around the corners on these, you can. And like I said, if you want to make a little booklet, you could do that also. So this one's going to live in this pocket down here. And if you want like something sticking out past this pocket and you want to do a tag, like you could do that also. Um, and then this top piece, let's see what paper do I want. Or maybe we want, well, oh, that's too red. All 
All right, let's try this one. Three and a half, right? By five and one eighth. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, gotta go this way. Yep, we're gonna do that. Where is my ball folder again? Oh my goodness. All right, so now this is gonna live in this pocket here. And like I said, if you wanna go back and add a tag that sticks up higher, you could definitely do that. This is what I got for now. Now, Let's take care of this outside. So I will probably do a ribbon tie closure here. Um, but right now we got to do this piece. So this is the piece um, that I had for the front cover. And if you guys follow along in that tutorial, you guys would see that. Um, so this one I am going to be cutting out. Well, first I want to do gold foil paper like I did before. So... I have a scrap here. Let's see, this needs to be five and three eighths by seven and a half. So five and three eighths. by seven and a half. Okay, so that's gonna go here and we are gonna still do that fancy edge here. So five and three eighths by seven and a half, which means that this piece is gonna be five and a quarter by seven and three eighths. Now this piece is a little trickier because you also need to mat the inside of the paper. I'm gonna cut a little bit more. I think my seven and three eighths is a little off. Okay, that's better. So notice how I'm lining up the paper at the top before I go to die cut it. Um, that's gonna give me that even border kind of all the way around once it's die cut. So I'm gonna grab my die again. And we need to see where this is in the center. Okay, so let's line up this that looks like the center there. I'm gonna line that up right there. And then this here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut out now. All right, so I got this back. Looks like it cut through here, this piece, and this one we just need to cut again. I mean, I could run this back through, but too long. 
Yeah, all my pieces are a little too long. <laughs> I don't know how I did that, but somehow I did. I thought I had an even border all the way around. All right, I'm just gonna cut a sliver. This one's not that long. And then a sliver off of this. No, a little bit more, because I want more of that gold showing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get these glued down. I wanted some more of that gold up top because it has that nice like stitched edge there. Okay, and then this one. And yes, guys, I know we still gotta do the other side. I'm hoping it'll work just fine. Okay, so that is gonna be our front cover here, okay? So we still need um, like a pattern here, which I'm probably gonna do a green, um, but we gotta do the inside back cover. So again, you're gonna need another piece that is gonna kind of cover this up. So seven and a half inch height. Right now, I don't really care about the width. And what you can do here is just, um, I mean, maybe you could die cut it again, but you could also just probably line up this piece on it. Um, hmm, actually, if I line this up like that, this is what takes so long, guys all these fancy edges they look nice but they take really long so I'm gonna go ahead and paper clip this and then I'm gonna do my pattern paper layer and so in the last one I was able to do a pocket here I'm actually I don't know I'm thinking maybe I don't want to do a pocket if I do then this would be two different um, kind of pieces that I would paper piece together. Do I even want gold? I don't even know if I want gold actually. Well, I know I'm gonna have green on the inside here. So maybe that one's gonna get paper pieced there. This one could probably be a full on one. Or we could paper piece. All right, we're gonna get the plaid on this side, I think. So here, we're gonna do this guy. So I'm just gonna cut him straight down. He's probably too long. So I'm just cutting him at three and a half by seven and three eighths. And we're gonna line him up at the top with this gold paper. And I'm gonna do a little bit shorter than seven and seven and three eighths, I think like I did last time. So we're gonna line him up here because we are gonna do some paper piecing. And then I'm thinking with this piece, I could just maybe line him up here I think we're gonna do that. Line him up there. I mean, actually, I could just do it like this. Hmm. 
I think that's gonna get the stitch to look on the wrong side. But I think we're gonna go with it. So I lined ah okay. Lined that up there. And I just need to make sure to put this down like this. So I'm gonna try this and we'll be back. So we definitely got this cut out. This went through both of them. Hopefully that's the last thing I needed to cut out. So now this will go here. <laughs> it's looking good. And we do need to crop him a little. And then this piece will go here. And then I think we could get, okay, so this piece does need to be a little bit shorter. But let me glue the gold down. Okay, try to remind me to not forget a magnet, guys, this time. Actually, maybe I should just put the magnet down now. All right, so my magnet's gonna go like up here. But this piece is gonna go here. So this needs to be shorter. And a little bit more. Okay. So this is going to go here. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking a teeny bit more like this one's now just going to be a sliver. Okay. So I'm going to get this pocket blue glued down also. Oh, he's not even mitered properly. Okay, so I'm gonna get him down here. And I want some of that gold showing, which is why I did it like that. Okay, so now the next piece, um, the pocket piece and this strip is gonna need to be two and three eighths. No, I think the top piece is going to need to be two and a half by, I mean, it could be like five and a half, two and a half by five and a half. Oh, is this long enough? Yeah. We're going to use this because I have a scrappy. I mean, it could probably stay even longer. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna glue this piece down first. So for this pocket, I'm just gonna do some of this tape right down here. And then we're gonna glue this down. Okay, so you don't have to do this pocket, guys. This pocket is totally optional. 
However, if you're doing the pocket, clearly it requires <laughs> a lot more work. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this piece down now. Okay, this pocket needs to be two inches by two and three eighths. We could go with this piece, this scrap, or let me see what else I have. I know I have some like little scraps around here somewhere. Here we go. We could do that, we could do Oh, we haven't done this one yet. Yeah, I want to do that one because we have a small enough scrap. So what was it? What was the measurement? Two and three eighths by two and one eighth. So two and three eighths by two and one eighth. Okay, a little shorter than two and one eighth. Maybe it's supposed to be two. There we go. So that's gonna go down here and you could just add like a cute little um, tag in there. Maybe just the year of the folio or whatever. Okay, so now this piece is gonna get attached to our cover. So I'm just gonna put some glue here. I'm like, this is so sturdy, guys. <laughs> Got a lot going on here. Okay, there's that magnet. Beautiful. And now we could go ahead and mat this. However, I do want a ribbon tie closure here also. So I gotta get some ribbon. Okay, so I have some ribbon here and the ribbon tie closure is gonna go like right here where that center is. Oh my gosh, guys, this has been taking me forever. My phone died now, but anyway, I need to cut this down approximately 10 inches, which is what I'm doing. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just gonna flip this. Put down some ribbon or some tape <laughs> so I could do my ribbon. Okay, so we got some ribbon there. I hope that's enough for a closure. Okay, um, so that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some more tape on the back here. And I'm trying to get this done before my phone dies again. It's currently plugged in, but it, the battery's so low and I'm filming that it just dies faster than it could charge. And I've been filming for what feels like forever. So we got that. This piece could get one uh, straight piece or you could split it again. Um, oh, maybe I should just do this piece. Nope, because I want some of that green, but I feel like this would be nice to just like do some journaling on it. All right, you know what? We're going to do this, um, this one, and we're going to put a strip of something down here. So we'll just do a little strip of something else. Let's see what I have. Because I could do a little strip here. So we'll just do... 
like a half inch or um, five eighths of an inch. This is by seven and a half. So this could go right here. And then the rest of this we'll do in that green. All right, so I'm gonna get this stuck down. All right, the rest of this needs to be four and seven eighths. Probably a little less, so do a little less than four and seven eighths by seven and a half. Okay, so I'm gonna get this burnished and stuck down. So I will figure out what tag to put in later, but my phone's gonna die again. So you guys are just gonna have to see what the finished project looks like um, in another video. I will do a project share. The only thing I have left is this back piece and the back piece would measure five and five eighths by seven and a half. So you could line it with gold. That's typically what I do. Um, so let me see, because that is the back. So five and five eighths by seven and a half. Okay, that fits perfect. I would even cut off like a teeny smidge. So instead of five and five eighth, like the line between five and five eighth and five and a half. Okay. And then I could do my pattern paper, which the only one I have left is this, unless I wanna use scraps, which actually I might do because I haven't used this paper yet. Yeah, so this was a smidge smaller than five and five eighth. Um, so I'm gonna do this one a smidge smaller than five and a half. We're gonna cut off this strip and I'm gonna paper piece. Okay, and then on the bottom, I think I'm gonna use this piece and I'm also gonna use this on the spine. Yeah, to kind of make that more uniform. So let me get this glued down. All right, so this piece is gonna measure a little bit more than a quarter. Right, is it a quarter or one and a quarter? And what was the width on this? Five and three eighths. So I'm going to put that down here and then this is also going to get my logo stamp back here. Okay, I got my handmade kind of logo stamp here. Sticker that I'm, well, not really sticker, it's a stamp on paper that I'm now gluing down. Okay. 
beautiful. All right, so now we could place this on the back. And like I said, the cover and everything else, I'm just gonna finish off camera. Um, so you guys could check out the project share video, which will be posted before this anyway. So if you guys missed it, I will have it linked down below in the description box where you guys could check out the finished project. I will finish embellishing it, adding um, cut aparts, the tag, and that little pocket and whatever else to finish this off. So um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this super long video. <laughs> I can't believe how long it is, to be honest, guys. Like, this was not the plan. Um, but that's what happens when you try to be fancy with these fancy um, borders. They do take a lot of time. Okay, so there's that. And I will finish the spine and everything else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the process of decorating this and whatnot and the whole entire thing so yeah i'm happy to finally have gotten the tutorial out for you guys and with a bonus because you guys got this also um so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next crafty video i'll talk to you soon bye